Hey, what's up you guys? Prince Mate here. Assalamualaikum everybody. How's everybody doing today? Harap semua orang memang sehat hari ni. Hope everyone is doing fantastic today. I kena minta maaf sebab sepatutnya kita buat the part 2 MK Ultra punya video hari ni tau. But, I promise you guys kita akan buat tu in the next video, okay guys? Sebab kita ada lagi benda that we have to talk about, okay guys? Sebelum ni, okay guys, apa kita cakap? Kita cakap pasal so many celebrities, okay guys? Hari ni, kita akan cakap pasal hamba-hamba Illuminati yang muda. Young, talented, and very, very successful. Video yang sebelum ni, okay guys, apa itu Illuminati? Macam mana drone boleh kena control? Apa itu MK Ultra? Apa orang akan dapat kalau they sell their soul to the devil? Hari ni, kita akan cakap pasal budak yang sell their soul to the devil and now they are worldwide known. Okay, are you guys ready? Alright, here we go. You know you love me. Justin Bieber. I don't know how to explain. Um, he is one of the most famous punya manusia in our world. Okay, you guys, he's so famous. Aku tak tahu nak cakap macam mana punya famous lah. Untuk korang yang tak tahu, okay, you guys, Justin Bieber, uh, dulu, dia buat YouTube videos. Dia mula, dia punya, dia punya journey dekat YouTube. Dia nani semua dekat tepi jalan, atas tangga, you know. Korang semua ambil gambar budak ni and say, oh my god, dia gempak gila. So one day, okay guys, video dia ada dekat YouTube tau. Salah satu artist yang bernama Usher, dia nampak this Justin Bieber punya video and then dia kata, Wow, who is this kid? Siapa tu budak ni? Aku nak tahu budak ni. Aku nak sign budak ni. Nama dia memang akan besar, memang macam Michael Jackson punya besar. Fast forward, okay guys, he is now a multi-multi-millionaire. Masa ni punya journey ni, he always buat hal. And when I say dia buat hal, dia always buat hal. Justin Bieber, you guys, dia ada everything that you want in this world. Apa benda yang dia tak ada tu, you guys? Semula-mula dia, dia nak naik, okay, you guys? Dia tak ada tattoo, dia tak, dia tak buat apa-apa, dia tak isap rokok, dia tak minum. One day, bila dia dah besar, you guys, dia pergi buat a tattoo tau. Tattoo semua kat tangan dia, dekat badan dia. A tattoos everywhere semua dekat badan dia. If you guys tengok betul-betul, you guys, dia ada simbol, simbol Illuminati. Korang pun macam boleh nampak, okay, you guys? You guys can really see all the, the tattoos semua you guys on his hands, on his arms semua you guys dekat badan dia satu mata tu korang boleh nampak eh simbol satu mata tu it's right there it's right there dekat badan dia after the, the tattoo punya benda you guys for some reason okay you guys after Justin Bieber dia dah ada all the punya success after the, the jual dia punya soul to the devil macam dia dia, dia mula kurang aja. Uh Dia ada this attitude tau uh, Macam I tak nak layan the fans I don't want to talk to the fans Aku tak nak layan the fans Oh my god Justin I'm not saying that I'm just saying we wait all day you can but wait. Wait. I'm sorry, why are you just still waiting? Okay, I've been here waiting for my girlfriend. Is that I'm fine? sorry, we're waiting. Okay. Can you stop wait. with the camera, please? Sampai one day, 2017, Justin Bieber, ada dia punya tour tau. Tour ni dia panggil the, the Purpose Tour. So, benda ni macam ni, okay, guys. Sepatutnya, macam dia punya tour ni, it's like, macam lambat lagi habis. Ada lagi beberapa bulan tau. And then, masuk dekat dalam berita semua, Justin Bieber cancels the purpose tour. Me taking this time right now is me saying I want to be sustainable. I want my career to be sustainable, but I also want my mind, heart and soul to be sustainable. Ada lagi beberapa negara yang dia kena pergi tau you guys. US, Canada, Japan, Philippines, Singapore and London. Orang semua nak tahu tau why Justin Bieber pergi cancel this tour. A few days after dia the cancel tour ni you guys, keluar semua dekat berita. He cancel dia punya tour ni you guys disebabkan depression and exhaustion. And orang also kata dia nak kuatkan dia punya religion lah. You know macam dia dia, dia nak dekatkan diri dia dengan Tuhan. Any reason though? You can talk about it? 
you already know the reason. Justin Bieber nak chow daripada Illuminati. Ada satu kali ni, after dia cancel yang dia punya tour ni, dia pergi to this macam religion punya, Christianity punya yang you boleh duduk, you cakap-cakap semua. Dia cerita semua dekat everybody. Dia kata that dia nak chow daripada Illuminati. He apparently started going to this church because uh, apparently pedophiles are running Hollywood and, and uh, it's been pretty much sucking his soul and he wants to get closer to God. Sebab Justin Bieber cakap penampak satu budak kecil yang actually kena tortured right in front of him. Kalau korang semua tak tahu ke you guys, Illuminati, orang suka sacrifice budak-budak kecil. They suka ambil darah bayi untuk sacrifice. That is what they do you guys. They need darah budak kecil. Why? I have no idea. Justin Bieber said dia nampak budak kecil ni dia kena pukul you guys. Salah satu orang yang ada dekat sana, dia suruh Justin Bieber buat benda yang sama. Pukul budak ni. Justin Bieber kata, I tak nak buat semua ni. I don't want to do this. Aku tak nak buat semua ni. Justin Bieber dia, dia nak tolong. He cannot do anything. Apa Justin Bieber buat? He ran away. Dia bagi tahu itu dekat semua orang dekat alam bilik tu you guys. So right now, he is trying to, to find a way out lah. Orang semua tahu who who he is. Honestly, you okay, guys, I really think that he will be much of the next Michael Jackson. A concert due to religious reasons? No? Yeah. They always cari jalan macam mana aku nak keluar daripada this group called the Illuminati. Ada benda yang akan buat benda-benda ni memang lagi teruk, you guys. That is where the paparazzi semua datang. Yo, 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 is it, is it possible for you guys to like do what you gotta do without talking so much just kind of do it professionally and kind of like li let me just live my life all the, the cameramen semua they will come to you and they will film you and they will not care apa jadi tau you guys they will film you and post it everywhere on social media dekat dalam TV dekat dalam surat khabar dekat dalam magazines they will make your life lagi worse 10 kali lagi worse than before tu pasal you guys banyak gila celebrity always always nak gaduh balik dengan the paparazzi they always nak nak marah balik Contoh ni okay guys, sebelum ni kita, kita kita cakap pasal siapa? Kanye West kan? Kanye West is a nice guy. I betul-betul fikir that he is a nice guy. Satu kali ni, Kanye West dia tengah dekat rumah dia pukul 4 pagi, paparazzi pergi depan rumah dia and try to kacau dia, you know what I mean? How's it going Kanye? Don't say anything to me man. Orang semua tahu, oh Kanye West dia, dia kena hospitalise um, sebelum ni Orang semua nak tahu lah kan apa yang dia tengah buat Ramai lagi ke you guys, pelambat lagi selebriti yang always Always mengamuk gila dengan The Paparazzi Honestly okay, you guys, you want everything, you want money, you want fame, you not live in Hollywood punya hills, you can have all that stuff, but you can join the Illuminati. Paparazzi ni you guys, they sanggo wait in front of your house early in the morning. Listen, let me walk my dogs in peace. All right. This is my house, it's right here. You're basically at my front door. I just want to walk my dogs in the morning right, in no peace. Problem. And you come here and you're this close. Can I close this? I just want to walk my dogs in peace. Can I close this? Ah, betul-betul fikir, okay guys. Justin Bieber, he's a nice guy. Cuma dia, dia tak suka macam mana dia kena dikontrol. Kadang-kadang dia, dia memang boleh kurang ajar sangat. Ada satu video ni, a famous gila video ni. Ada lelaki yang kecil, ah, macam yang eh, pendek punya, punya manusia tu kan dia orang yang pertama yang nampak Justin Bieber and um, dia cakap baik-baik tau I'm a huge fan Justin Bieber dia ignore yang kecil tu ambil gambar dengan yang lain-lain semua asalam tangan semua dengan yang lain-lain semua but dia tak do anything for this guy Oh 
Austin, you don't even understand how much of a fan I am. Oh my gosh. I need a I need a photo, Justin. I need a photo, Justin, please. I need a photo, Justin. Come here, photo, Justin. Oh my gosh. Please, I just need a photo, man. Yo, Justin, come on. Man, I need a photo. I need one, no, please. Ah! Hey man, please. I need a photo, you don't understand. I'm such a big fan. Please, man. Please. What's up, Justin? I need you all right, bro? a photo. Please, man. Yes, sir. I need a photo, man, please. Don't push, don't push. Let him out, let him out. 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 Orang yang pertama yang nampak Justin Bieber But Justin Bieber pergi pergi buat dia macam tu So um, Sumpah sedih lah um, um, And every time aku kalau tengok video tu I want to cry I don't know why you know, But I feel so bad for him So one day ke you guys Justin Bieber macam dia tengah bawa dia punya kereta in LA Dia pergi lalu The Hood uh, Kalau korang tak tahu dia The Hood ni apa The Hood ni macam uh, tempat for for the blacks lah You know macam Kereta dia macam engine rosak ke I don't know what happened He had no way to go Dia so, sudah terpaksa lepak dengan orang ni semua in The Hood We're gonna go play some sports What's going on man? What's up man? Nice to meet you You're trying to get balled up Right here, man. Justin Bieber in a hooker. White boy. Seen that shit. He's a cool guy, though. He's a cool guy. Macam you boleh lepak dengan dia, macam you boleh cheer dengan dia. I pun tak sangka lah, you know. Sekarang ni macam dia tengah ni macam dia tengah chill dia nak jauhkan diri dia daripada Illuminati ni semua Justin Bieber, Kanye West. Honestly, you guys, they are all cool and nice people. Since you're a superstar and everything? It's not about being a superstar, it's about being a human being. Cool. You know, and I really appreciate that. I mean, uh, one of these guys here was saying like some bullshit earlier, yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. supposed to respect doctors. Masalahnya, they always want more. They don't always not lebih. I recap, but don't talk. I, I, you, I, don't, I don't want, I, that's fine, but yeah. don't talk right. to me. Sorry. I don't want to hear paparazzi talk to me I'm or anybody I know. I'm it doesn't mind. No, no, but don't talk all right. to me at all. And don't talk right. to anyone I know all right. at all. And tell everybody, never talk to anyone that, that anyone knows. I feel that. Don't talk to themselves. I feel that. Don't talk ever again. Hey, I love you though. Hey. The only one yang berani buka mulut is Cardi B. Hey, fuck him, then I get some money. Yeah. Sebelum ni, kita dah dah cakap dah pasal Cardi B Macam mana dia boleh famous gila macam laju gila Everybody knows Cardi B siapa sekarang What I'm trying to say is The United Nation Never mind they fucking business They always on somebody business Some bullshit all the time Because they want free resources They want They free um goods And that's why they don't give a fuck yeah, they're having a type of meeting and shit. They want to do these fake meetings with these cameras and shit. Like, they helping and they care. And they don't give a fuck. It's been... This shit been happening for a long time. They pernah cakap to you guys. They might kill me kalau aku buka mulut aku. They might kill me for this. But it's a fact. It's a motherfucking fact. What's going on over there is shameful and disgusting. She's trying to expose this Illuminati with secret society every single time. Why don't we do things to educate instead of bashing and trying to label somebody that they not? Okay, you guys. Um, dia mula naik masa umur dia at 14 years old, you guys. At 14 years old, dia keluarkan satu lagu yang dipanggil Ocean Eyes. Immediately, lagu ni memang shoot all the way to the top. Lagu tu baru keluar. Dua hari kemudian, you guys, 
that song is already number one worldwide. Umur dia masa tu, she was only 14 years old. 14 tahun. Aku 14 tahun bro. Oh my god. Orang semua kata that how come budak kecil can be big star macam laju gila. Kalau korang semua tak tahu you guys, Billy Eilish dulu you guys, dia cuba nak famous dulu on Vine. Most people tak tahu that she used to do Vine. She used to be a Viner. Tapi masa tu you guys, dia dia, dia tak popular. Dia cuba nak nak famous lah. You know macam dia dia, dia buat benda-benda yang lawak semua. Macam you tahu lah you know. Benda-benda yang Vine semua. You know lah kan. Macam mana Vine punya videos dulu. How other people look on picture day? How I look on picture day? But benda tu tak jadi. Until one day, her name boleh jadi number one on the top charts at only 14 ataupun 15 years old masa tu you guys fast forward a few months ago dia keluarkan dia punya latest and new music video say it spit it out dekat dalam music video ni you guys banyak gila signs of illuminati in every scene in the music video macam bersepah gila signs of illuminati macam mana dia kena control macam mana dia kena dipaksa buat benda yang dia tak nak buat you boleh dengar dia kata that I sell my soul I sell my soul and I can't say no no I can't say no this music video you guys I'm not gonna lie to you you boleh nampak in every single scene that dia boleh kena control mana-mana celebrity yang sell dia punya soul you guys akan ada mimpi dan ada mimpi MP ni you guys where dia akan kena control by the devil they will always have this dream and in this music video you guys you boleh nampak that she is being controlled dalam this scene okay guys macam you boleh nampak dia punya mata tau mata dia betul and mata demon inside her there is a demon inside her you guys video ni you guys you boleh dengar the devil. You can hear the devil masa dia tengah kena control. Ada satu video ni, okay guys, where you boleh tengok in one year, you boleh tengok macam dia punya transformation. Uh, I think it's October 18th, 2017. It's October 18th, 2018. I'm 15. I'm 16. I have 257,000. I have 6.3 million. Dia pun ada cakap with you guys. Most artists yang korang nampak semua tu you guys, that they are sad and they are sad and they're almost susah all the time. We're all sad as hell. All these artists, we're sad as shit, dude. Everybody I know that's an artist, we are sad motherfuckers. Kita je yang tak realize it. White boy, seeing that shit. It's not about being a superstar, it's about being a human being. This is my house, it's right here. You're basically at my front door. I just want to walk my dogs in the morning in peace. Hey, Jenny, I'm on the phone. How about that? That's cool. You know, shut the f I'm on the phone. All right, mister. I'm from Chicago. Hey, guys, it's Billie Eilish. Man, you don't understand. I'm your biggest fan. Please, Justin. Come on, man. <laughs> Just in. You guys suck. Natasha, due to religious reasons? No? We're all sad as hell. All these artists, we're sad as shit, dude. Everybody I know that's an artist, we are sad motherfuckers. We're gonna go play some sports. What's going on, man? What's up, man? Nice to meet you. You're trying to get balled up. They want they free um goods, and that's why they don't give a fuck. That's why it's like until they get exposed on CNN, that's why they want to act like, yeah, they're having a type of meeting and shit. Just kind of do it professionally, kind of like, live, let me just live my life. How I live in Watch out, get out of the way. Hey, you're talking about that shit out of the way.
Okay you guys, that's it for now. The next video, we will go to the location yang I bagi tahu you guys the other day. Okay, we confirm. I promise you guys 100% in the next video we will go and see benda ni depan mata. I memang nak tengok benda ni. Okay you guys, so it's a 100% confirmation I will be going there in the next video. Hit okay, like on this video you guys. Kalau korang nak video macam ni lagi, I will be making more and more and more. Ada banyak lagi benda dan nak bagi tahu you guys. Please subscribe dekat channel ni kalau korang belum subscribe please hit that notification bell so korang will not miss satu pun video bila I dah upload on this channel you guys I'm telling you guys right now okay you guys in the next video kita akan pergi to that location I promise you in April insyaAllah insyaAllah but confirm lah juga I will go to Japan I will go to that place in April okay you guys I'll see you guys in the next video I love you all so much Assalamualaikum see you guys soon in the next video I love you all Bye.